distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, Ming Lava. So I'm pleased to have that presentation uh, among our friends who also have that experience for a long time. So regarding the expansion of non form primary education in Myanmar, based on that, uh, we have uh, some supporting documents like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and also CRC, every, everybody knows about that. And EFA, National Action Plan, in our plan also we have mentioned about, and also we have EFA Mitigate Assessment. And also we are now having uh, Myanmar National Education Law. So there are some provisions about non-formal education and also equivalency program. And also, now we are having the comprehensive education sector study in three phases. And then the recommendations of that sector study is to expand the NFPE equivalency program nationwide and launch the NFMSE middle school education as a pilot stage and then invest in existing CLCs. These are the related supporting documents. So let me move on to the background. So it started actually in 1998. At that time, uh, it, it was a UNESCO and UNDP project, and uh, UNDP project MIA 9900 at the time. And then MOE and UNICEF implemented NFP program in five townships in 2008 and 9, and expanded more townships yearly. And in 2010 and 11, three townships were expanded with the contributions of donors. We have separate donors, uh, except that UNICEF. And also now, in this year, 2015-16, an FE program was expanded to 94 townships. And in, if we, we include mess out, uh, uh, we will come up with uh, 95 townships altogether. Our target group is uh, from 10 to 14 years of age, who have never yet enrolled formal, formal education, and also who have uh, those who have dropped out uh, from the primary level. So we have two levels, level one and level two. Level one equivalent to lower primary, level two is uh, equivalent to upper primary. The time and venue, time and venue, the most appropriate time and venue for the learners. Because when we have, the, we have had the research, we have 21 kinds of time arrangement for the so that uh, they will be, they can come to the learn, uh, learning center uh, very conveniently. So regarding the NFE township covered by MOE, now we have three partners, MOE, UNICEF, and DONA. Uh, these are the uh, data showing that DONA uh, covers 30, 32%, Ministry of Education 23%, and UNICEF 45% now. Now we have come up with 95, 90, 94 townships. So these are the uh, data for the NFPE. And regarding the contributions, we have uh, other partners like uh, MOE, DONA, UNICEF, and local contributor. So these are the source of money from them. Now we have the total amount of uh, that million, uh, oh, 1,092.3 million. And regarding the completion of level, so level one, uh, we have now total with uh, over three, uh, 31,000, and level two, uh, 25,000, and we have already uh, covered 56,000. And for them, those who join another level, now we have the total amount of uh, 4,145 uh, 4, learners are now in the middle school and high school. So they enjoy learning in this uh, secondary level. Last year, we have 37.9% of NFE level two graduates join mainstream in 2015 and 16 AY, academy year. So NFPE in our country is very big network, like we have government, UNICEF, donors, well-wishers, INGO, NGOs, 
and central and regional and also uh, regional local authorities. So they are working hands in hands uh, to develop that program in our country. This year, uh, last year, last uh, uh, two years, uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, another a new partners, UNESCO. Uh, UNESCO was taking care of non-formal middle school education. Now we are in the way to develop that program and also we are in the way of uh, piloting this program. And another partner now, World Vision, or World Education is now contributing for non-formal primary education. So we have now come up with new partners now. Thank you, UNESCO, and also thank you, World Education. Uh, we have the partners and network for resource mobilization. Let me say something about the government. The president of the Union of the Republic of Myanmar delivered the inaugural speech on the occasion of the opening of literacy movement. What he said is a non-formal primary education program has been implementing for the children under age 15 who missed formal education due to various reasons. Those who complete uh, having opportunity for joining mainstream. What I wish to know is that uh, this is what the commitment of the government. So we have the blessing from the government and also from the ministry. Ministry issue letters signed by the union minister for, um, from, for MOE to all the chief ministers. We have 14 states and re region mini chief ministers and then he sent, she sent the letters right to the chief minister uh, to, to provide necessary assistance for the implementation of non-form primary education. And also, the Department of Basic Education is taking care of non-form primary education, and then uh, we are very fortunate, starting from this year, <coughs> Department of Basic Education will be providing uh, a lot of uh, financial assistance. So they have already uh, bet, have budget in, uh, uh, in Min Ministry of Education. So these are the pictures showing that Minister for Education also visited some learning centers and uh, other chief ministers are attending the opening ceremony of uh, that norm from primary education because at that uh, meeting, uh, they also uh, deliver speech and also they uh, made some sort of uh, uh, <clears throat> delivery of their uh, assignment uh, right to the township level. So this is, these are the very important occasions for us to have township level uh, implementation. From UNICEF, uh, UNICEF at the time was a lead agency for that and financial, technical, and material assistance provided by UNICEF. And what the remarks from the UNICEF, so Myanmar has one of the best primary equivalency program in the region offering children, especially the most vulnerable, a second chance to complete their full primary education. This is a remark from the UNICEF and uh, recently, uh, Dr. Cliff Meyers of Chief uh, education section from UNICEF, he said that he should be proud of, proud to say that Myanmar NFP program has shown the evidence on high completion rate, high pass rate, and high transition rate. Time we enter uh, to the formal education system in the region under the leadership of something like that. So these are the remarks uh, from the, our main partner from UNICEF. I would like to show some sort of uh, uh, program that w we are working with uh, UNESCO. UNESCO project is a strengthening education system for out of school children. Component one is an equivalency program or non formal middle school education. We call it NFMSC, starting from 2013 14. And we have the preparation of NFNSV pilot program. And also another one is a non-formal primary education program, providing monthly stipends to learners who have attended 80% and above attendance, and also offering financial 
support to improve the capacity of performance of the facility data of learners. Because one of the main issues for non-form primary education is to have regular, regular learner. So to have that regular learner and to have a good performance in the townships, uh, UNESCO is now uh, providing that sort of uh, two projects for non-form primary education. And while, with, while education also, the new partner will be providing financial assistance for non-form primary education in Mesau Township and also in Sun Townships in Myanmar. So, bovine program, uh, last year uh, in November also, uh, now UNESCO regional office and uh, with all the partners have, uh, they, ha they have already at that time for the mobile learners program. Now we have other mobile program uh, for children of seasonal workers in uh, Ngapudo Township. That's just uh, uh, the initiation, initiation of that uh, mobile program in our country. Because everyone knows that uh, these children are from the uh, seasonal workers are moving from one place to another, so they are not able to attend the classes regularly. So this is the mobile program for non-form primary education. And also, we are going to have the expansion of the program. Main donor is MOE and donor, 50, <coughs> 54 townships, including Mass South, and also UNICEF, 16 new townships and other ongoing townships. And regarding the budget estimated, MOE just 998 million for uniform and others. Last year, MOE provided <coughs> only 164.2.2 million. So we are having increased budget from MOE. And then DONA, we are expecting to have uh, uh, 74.8 million and UNICEF is uh, total under estimation because UNICEF is taking care of all the program from top to down, so uh, they will be having that uh, budget uh, later on. Role of stakeholders, because since I have uh, explained about the network and cooperation among ourselves, uh, we have stakeholders and con contribution of stakeholders uh, are like that. He is a donor of one township. He is a uh, former minister for uh, home affairs. And what, what is a remark for him? Is uh, moreover, when I observe now, the children were striving to realize their goals in life, my heart just doubled. That this is what uh, he mentioned about how he felt when he met with the learners. And we have another donor, Ukugu Tui, he is a donor of 90 townships for five years, five years exactly. So these are the uh, donors' contribution for non-formal primary education. Social mobilization, starting from getting learners from the townships at the wards or the villages, uh, we need to have their cooperation at the township level. So these are the meetings, and also these are the uh, some sort of uh, occasion that township level are doing for the implementation of non-form primary education. <coughs> community mobilization. Uh, community members also contribute for non-form primary education. So for example, a Baba giving his free service for hairdressing for NFE learners. So these are the things that we are having uh, contribution from the local community and also local well-wishers provide means for non-form primary education learners. And also uh, from, the from the student also, they provide some sort of stationaries and other necessary things uh, to the learners so that uh, they are contributing uh, buying the students from the formal education system. Uh, this is the picture showing that after the completion of the level two, uh, we used to celebrate that uh, uh, 
certification uh, ceremony. Is the successful completers of NFE classes are conferred completion certificate at the centers in the presence of parents and community members to encourage them to build confidence with dignity. This will be one of the greatest events for them throughout their lives since some of them were not, were not there to enter the school compound in the past. So we wish them to stay with their dignity. So this is a very small occasion, but they will be proud uh, for the whole of their life. And also we try to uh, organize uh, these sort of uh, uh, school, uh, school concerts, buying that non-formal primary education uh, learners. Now we have at mess out, so we have some uh, centers. Now we are having five centers in mess out, and in the next year, so we are thinking of having 17 centers in mess out. So these are the pictures of the, uh, the learners. So during that time, so so can I can I show the video, uh, only to show just two minutes. Charlie, come here. ไอ้เมียนี่ก็มองมาเลยตายเนี่ยนะชาเกลาเรื่องดูออกตัวซัดเนี่ยเอาชีวะเลยใช่ไหมเว้ยส่งไปเจอเนี่ยอุบิขา
uh, she is a, a Nobel Prize uh, Award winner. What she said about his name of today is, we are guilty of many errors and many faults, but the worst crime is abandoning the children, neglecting the founding of their lives. So what the poem says is that many of the things we need can wait, but the child cannot. Right down is the time. His bones are being formed, his blood is being made, and his senses are being developed to him. We cannot answer tomorrow, and his name is today. So with that, I would say that our friends, uh, we, uh, we are going to uh, answer them just today. We count every child. Thank you very much.